Hola, bonjour, wagwan, sac passe. It's your girl, Roxy Rose. And today I am going to be talking about my endometriosis. So I've been having dysmenorrhea um, ever since I could remember, I believe since high school. And then it stopped um, after, for a while. After I had Malachi, it stopped. Then after... Um, getting off birth control it started again anyway so then it's just been like really bad cramps however the past few years now it got so bad I can't even get out of bed I had to stay home I couldn't even go to work like and it was bad and heavy now because it was heavy um, I had anemia that's one reason I had anemia and but like basically when I went to my doctor she's like if I don't get a handle on my period then my anemia is going to continue to be bad so I got a referral to a gynecologist and um, basically I knew I had some fibroids so I already did some tests for fibroids uh, my doctor made me go do tests they seen some fibroids different ones so I brought the file to him he said that the fibroids are not the issue however like some are already um, decayed I guess <laughs> they're like already gone um, but it's more he's the one who said okay like this is endometriosis I kind of figured because I did my own research but I feel like a lot of doctors they just want to say it's dysmenorrhea so he said these are your options either get pregnant either go on birth control Another option for some ladies is surgery, but that is would not fall in my category because I'm young and yeah. So I told him like we are not getting pregnant. <laughs> well, I don't mind. The thing is for pregnancy, that's another story. As you follow my journey, you can see we had complications with pregnancy. However... The next option was the birth control. The birth control, if you see my videos, <laughs> you will see that I have uh, had problems in the past with birth control. I tried so many birth control and my body just rejects it. So the last option he gave me was for me to try this uh, medication called Fibrostol. So this is it, Fibrostol. Um, I know you might say it for fibroids, yes. However, he said it will help with the endometriosis. So how this works is I take one a day. It's basically like a birth control pill. Take one a day. Okay, one tablet orally per day for three months of continuous use. And then take one month off, then go back on again for three months so when i received this he said that i had to take blood tests because um they wanted to make sure my liver is okay and then when the three months is up i will take another blood test to check my liver again and then he advised me that it does take a while sometimes for your period to stop I, uh, so i started this he gave me samples at first he told me um, that my Medicare should cover it however after I went when my prescription was done um, it was one month prescription I went to the pharmacy and they were trying to charge me an arm and a leg and I was like um, my insurance he told me my insurance should cover this and they're like, yeah, this is with insurance. It was like $800. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not paying that. I was like, I'd rather go back on one of the birth controls that don't um, 
that affect my body that doesn't agree with me i ain't paying i am not paying eight hundred dollars like mm -mm, nope and then <laughs> Um, I was like talking to the pharmacist before that because my period wasn't coming and they advised me that it takes a long time to stop your period. So I was freaking out already about my period not coming. I was like already late, whatnot. So I was so devastated that, okay, like, okay, this is something that could have worked. And now look, I cannot get it because it cost an arm and a leg. I go online, I research, it's supposed to be $15 a pill. I called the doctor's office, like, uh, it was a weekend, so I had to wait a few days. I called the doctor's office. She said she'll call me back. Then after, like, a week later, I was already giving up hope. They called me and said, okay, they'll give some more samples. I'm like, okay, cool. Well, that's blessed, because ain't nobody paying this money, like... And how long am I supposed to be paying this? And it, uh, if you're in the means and you're on Fibristall, that's amazing. I don't know if your insurance covers it or whatnot. If you have the money, that's great. But like me, I was like, mm -mm, I'm paying. So I went back to the doctor, picked up the samples. Now, uh, time goes by, my period still didn't come. So basically, Fibristall stopped my period. Uh, I guess it's earlier than expected. I can't um, see my doctor until after I have an appointment in June. So they will go back to see the fibroids. Check. I guess they could check the endometriosis, tell me what's my next steps and whatnot. But yeah, so Fibrostall has stopped my period. Um, I, if you know me, I hate pills, so it's kind of a struggle. But as you can see, they are pretty small, but like still sometimes I feel like it's stuck in my throat, even though they're tiny. Um, but it is, in the Fibrostall, it has progesterone, okay? So some days I feel a bit like hungry. I'd pre I'm thinking it's the progesterone. I do work out, so I haven't really noticed anything. I feel much better because I haven't had my period. So there's really nothing uh, wrong right now. Before I had to like have a doctor's note for my work, uh, for missing days, because I would have to stay home the whole week. It was so, so bad. It was so heavy. But if you have like if you have a bad period if you have endometriosis maybe this is something you can talk to your doctor about uh just to help you maybe for a few months um as i mentioned before the only thing he said it was uh like it can like you do have to monitor your liver the side effects however that he told me in the beginning, I was having a, a bit of side effects, so it's headaches. First side effect, I don't know if this is because of the progesterone, but my titties feel like sometimes like dry or like itchy. I have to put some coconut oil on it. Like before that, uh, the progesterone, the fiber stall, sorry, I have not, uh, like my titties wasn't feeling like What he told me was headaches, um... You can feel like fatigue or nausea and I also have experienced I have not experienced any of those uh, acne because all of my skin's beautiful um, well maybe I don't know I've been getting like little pimples but not anyway not no acne headaches yes endometrial thickening I have been seeing that a little bit and that's basically it and then, but other than that, no. So here it says to take it for three months on, two months off. My three months is almost done, so I may have to call the doctor to verify if it's one month off I have to take it or two months. But I'm pretty sure they said three and one. Uh, let me see.
yeah, anyways, that's neither here nor there. But this is basically what I'm doing. I'm taking now for my endometriosis. If you're going through endometriosis, I see women who have so much more pain than me. Um, so now that I don't have a period, I still do have some uh, pain. I'm also going to a chiropractor to try to fix. Uh, I heard that really does help with the endometriosis, going to a chiropractor. So that's what I'm doing as well. And um, yeah, that's basically it. I see some women have more pain. So when you're like, whether you're not on your period or you're on your period, you can still feel pain from endometriosis. If this is something like you feel like you have been struggling with and they keep telling you, oh, it's nothing. It's dysmenorrhea. Hey, don't worry about it. Just take some pills. Okay, honey, take some Motrin. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, don't listen, cause maybe it's endometriosis you're suffering with. And um, for my doctor, like I got lucky, cause I have a family doctor. So if you're looking for like a gyno and you can't get one, it's best to go to like another doctor. Try to get um a referral letter. And yeah. So basically, this is my story, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment down below, share with a friend, and subscribe. And remember, when life pricks you with thorns, go and search and smell for them roses. Okay. Bye. Ciao. Adios. Au revoir. See you later. Hey. See you later. Hey. See you later. See you later. See you later. <laughs>